Houston's biggest transportation need at this time is good express commuter services from the suburbs to all of the different job centers we have around town, like the medical center and uptown. Okay. Got it. Houston's biggest transport. Sorry. Houston's most pressing transportation need is good express commuter services from the suburbs to the different job centers around town, like the Texas Medical Center, Uptown, the Energy Corridor, West Chase, and so forth. Houston's doing better than other large cities like Atlanta and Los Angeles and that they are spending tons of money on rail projects that are not attracting very many riders. Uh, in fact, in LA, they've spent $9 billion on rail with twice our density, better walking weather and worse traffic congestion, and yet they still are losing ridership. Whereas Houston's making better and more intelligent investments in things like HOV lanes. What was the opening of the question? Does investing in transit. Okay. So investing in transit in Houston is investing in a different kind of roadway. New kinds of HOV and HOT lanes called max lanes, managed express lanes, that can move people from all sorts of suburbs to all sorts of job centers at very high speed. It's really important for the city and the suburbs to work together on long distance transit commuter solutions so that people all over the region, not necessarily just inside the city, but all over can get to all of the job centers inside the city. What we need are a network of managed express lanes that are ma managed to move the maximum number of people at maximum speed so that you can go from any suburb to any job center at very high speeds, especially when autonomous vehicles become available, autonomous buses, they may be able to go as high as 100 miles an hour to get you from your suburb to your job center and then circulate right in your job center to get you to your building, unlike any kind of train solutions would be able to do. If the right decisions are made, Houston Transit in 10 years, you'll be able to go to your local park and ride lot, get on a bus or a shuttle to go to any job center. It'll go into autonomous mode when it gets in the lanes. There'll be protected lanes, barrier separated lanes, bigger than we have now. You'll be able to go up to 80, 100 miles an hour express to your job center in any kind of weather. Exit, circulate around the job center and get you right to your building. Uh, avoid the transfers, or tr avoid the slow trains, avoid the long waits. It'll be a, a different kind of transit experience. If the wrong decisions are made, our freeways will be gridlocked while the only available options will be trains that go quite slow and don't actually go where you want to go and you have to make slow transfers and you end up driving in 20 mile an hour traffic because the train's not any faster. Houston needs to look to the future and future technologies rather than looking to the past, like traditional rail transit, which only works in older cities, not newer Sunbelt cities like Houston. Autonomous vehicles are coming. Uh, Ubers may be as little as 35 cents a mile or even less if you carpool in the future and you'll be able to use these autonomous shuttles to get all over quite quickly and be able to be productive while you're in them. 
whether on email or watching TV even.